Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener I'm going to be talking about something called mycorrhizal fungi. You may have heard of it, you may not have heard of it, but it could make a significant difference to the majority of your vegetables, uh, any trees or shrubs that you plant. The establishment of those uh, could give you at least double the success rate if you actually use this fungi. Basically, it's mycorrhizal fungi. The easiest way to think about it is very similar to a mushroom. There are these millions and millions of fine fibres of these fungi growing all the way through the earth. In fact, 90% of all the plants on the planet need mycorrhizal fungi. They have a symbiotic relationship with it, which means they both benefit from this fungi being there. In fact, pine trees couldn't grow at all unless this fungi was present. And you can actually use this fungi in your garden. It sort of arrives in a packet. These are two different types. Uh, you can use it on seeds, you can use it on bulbs. Uh, one of the best things I've found it for is to use on bare-rooted trees. If you're planting trees, and the reason I'm talking about this now, um, I've just planted some raspberries. There's a raspberry video we've just done. Uh, and I was talking about it about why I use it on the bare root raspberries and it occurred to me that a lot of people might not have ever sort of come across it and what the fungi gets from this deal if you like is it gets carbon and sugars from the plant but what the plant gets um, the plant can take up a lot more of the nutrients from the ground and it also allows the plant to take up a lot of those small trace elements that make a difference to how healthy the plants that you grow are, how strongly they grow and how quickly they grow. And if you use this fungi, uh, and it's very simple, you sort of put it into the bottom of a trench if you're planting bare-rooted plants, you can put it in to your seed compost. Uh, within about four weeks, you can get a root system that is about 700 times bigger. Now, that doesn't mean to say the roots of your plants are 700 times bigger, but they have access via the fungi to that much more. Um, contact with the soil so it's very important when you use this that it actually is in contact with the soil um, it's the 12th of january and you can hear that uh, my local jays you probably hear them in the background squawking they're quite keen on uh, finding another jay to do whatever jays do at this time of the year also it'll give you much more balanced growth with your plants i'll just pop some into my hand if we can focus in it looks very very similar to calcified seaweed it's actually mixed with clay so that it sort of is easier to use, easier to spread. It's been used commercially for sort of for decades now. I would say, you know, there's a couple of things. Brassicas don't like this being used on them, so your cabbages, cauliflowers, uh, Cavello Nero, the kales, don't use it with those. Heathers don't like it, camellias, rhododendrons. So those plants don't benefit from it at all. They haven't sort of, uh, in their native environments established a relationship with the fungi. But in 90% of cases, it will give you benefits. Stronger plants, more balanced growth, healthier plants, more capable of fighting off disease without having to sort of, you know, reach for that spray. You can buy it, most garden centres, if you'd like to. You can get it off the internet, which is much cheaper. Once the packet's opened, it'll keep about a year. If you're thinking about planting any fruit trees this winter, uh, and we should all be planting some fruit trees, we're going to be putting espalier apples into this garden soon, we've got some cherries that we need to sort of get into the ground. You've spent a lot of money on those. The extra sort of four or five pounds for a bag of this is peanuts. If you've bought a fan chain train cherry, it will have cost you anything up to 60 pounds. It will have taken someone three years minimum to get that shape. An extra fibre, which is what? A pint and a half a beer or two decent espressos. For something that could be in your ground, if it's raspberries 10 years, if it's a cherry tree, it could be in your ground long after you are in the ground yourself. Surely it's worth spending that fibre. So that's Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com saying get some of that mycorrhizal fungi. I love mushrooms, which is another fungi, but if I had to choose between the two, this is the one that would give me a better return on my investment. Thanks a lot for listening to Learn How to Garden. Until next time, bye.